Amsam was reading his favorite comic when his eyes began to feel dry. Just huh? then he blinked, and instantly his vision felt clearer and fresher. He blinked again without even realizing it. Curious, he wondered, why do we blink? <laughs> Determined to find out, Om Sum shrank and entered his own body. He landed near the eyes. The brain had sensed that the eyes were getting dry and it immediately signaled the muscles around the eyelids to move. The soft inside of the eyelid brushed over the eye's surface like a gentle wiper, spreading a thin layer of tears evenly across it. The tears came from small glands at the edge of the eye, called tear glands. As the eyelid lifted again, light returned, and Amsam saw how fresh everything looked. The blinking motion wasn't just cleaning, it was protecting. But that wasn't the only reason the eyes blinked. Amsam noticed that even when the eyes weren't dry, they still blinked regularly. This time, the brain sent automatic signals, <laughs> making the eyelids move without any conscious thought. Blinking helped the eyes stay comfortable and prevented strain, especially <laughs> when focusing for a long time. Also, when something like dust or bright light came near, the blinking happened even faster as a quick defense to protect the eyes. <laughs> Smiling proudly, Aum Sum now understood the mystery. Aum Sum was walking home one evening when he noticed something unusual in the sky. Oh. The moon looked enormous, brighter than ever, glowing like a golden lantern. Amazed, he wondered, what is a super moon? <laughs> Determined to find out, he set off into space. He reached Earth's orbit and floated between Earth and the moon. From huh? this view, he saw that the moon was much closer to Earth than usual. Huh? That was the reason it looked so large from the ground. But why? Aum Sum wondered. He watched huh? carefully as the moon moved around Earth. Its path was not a perfect circle, but slightly oval, called an ellipse. This meant that sometimes the moon was closer to Earth and sometimes farther away. The closest point was called perigee and the farthest point was called Apogee. As the moon continued its journey, Aum Sum huh? noticed the sun shining brightly on one side of the Earth. When the moon came closest to Earth, at Perigee, and stood on the opposite side from the sun, sunlight fell directly on its face. The entire side facing Earth glowed brightly. That was a full moon. And when a full moon happened at Perigee, it appeared much bigger and brighter than usual. That special event was called a supermoon. Aum Sum was walking on a chilly morning when a sudden breeze brushed across his arms. Tiny bumps rose on his skin and the hair stood upright. Surprised, he wondered, why do we get goosebumps? Determined to find out, Aum Sum shrank and entered his own body. He landed just beneath the skin, among rows of tiny hair follicles. The brain had sensed the cold and commanded the skin to react. Huh? Immediately, small muscles at the base of each hair follicle, called erector pili muscles, started pulling hard, tugging the hairs upright like soldiers standing at attention. The skin around <laughs> each follicle rose into a little bump, creating the familiar goosebump pattern. Basically, when the hairs stood up, they trapped a thin layer of air close to the skin. That layer acted like insulation, helping to keep warmth inside. The goosebumps rose again, this time huh? not due to cold, but triggered by the brain due to sudden fear or strong emotions. The bumps appeared as part of the fight-or-flight <laughs> response, a survival reflex from long ago. In animals, 
Raised fur made them look bigger and more threatening to predators. In humans, the bumps remained, even though the fur was mostly gone. <laughs> the mystery was solved.